so I can't say what I really think about them, but <laughs> well, uh, they don't work, and it's yeah. proven they don't work. Yeah. And a question that arose in my mind was, we were told at the outset that the, the building blocks of sectors, you, know, you get a group of like-minded fishermen together and you work together. Well, that sounded good on paper, but if that group of like-minded fishermen don't have enough allocation to go ground fishing, a sector can't survive. If a sector collapses financially, where does that leave the boats in that sector? We have to have a sector manager. But as is the case with I think most sectors right now, we're not making it financially. So now you go to the government and say, okay, sectors collapse. What do we do? Are we all common pool? Or do we all meld into one giant sector, which isn't going to work because that dispels the theory of like-minded fishermen working together? I mean, they've created this mess, and I think at some point we might go back to them and say, okay, here's the proof in the pudding, and we can use the, the figures for consolidation, the number of boats that are tied up, the fact that sectors are not making it financially, and say, okay, here, we played by the rules that you created, now you tell us what you want us to do next. Because this is not, obviously, it's not working. I don't You're need to tell anybody tell it. There might be a good argument for the incoming administration because they're strictly business minded, yeah. or strongly business minded, and mm -hmm. yeah. that's a failure of a business that the government actually uh, abetted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I don't know where you can go legally with that even. I mean, we, we've been forced into a situation that we basically nobody wanted, but we took it because it was mandated. And now that that situation affects our business plan. So what do you want us to do now? Put the, put the onus on them to come up with a plan that works and see what they do. Yeah, um, 